you my little TikTok out of me. Ready, 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 ready? This goes out to you. Uh. Young blood thinks there's always tomorrow. Who is 9 plus 10? <clears throat> Welcome to the 21st episode of Project 50. Today I actually wanted to talk about how my modeling meeting went. Yo, yo, it's your boy Aldwin. Bit of an eerie vibe today because I just changed it to red. The plans right now just got done with work. I'm actually gonna head to uh, GNC to go get some Prime because I got like a 30% deal or whatever. I think it's a little darker because it's red, but you know, keep it mysterious, you know what I mean? Before I get into the whole modeling stuff, I wanna talk about week three update just a tad bit, nothing too crazy. Honestly, at this point, I don't really feel like it needs its own video, but you know, I'll still, I'll still try to do the week four one. Right now, let's just kind of talk a little bit about, you know, the, the week and stuff and you know the videos whatever that kind of stuff if I'm 100% with you guys I'm, I've been slacking a little bit especially with writing stuff down for the next day and everything I've been slacking a little bit so that's um that's something I want to get back at and seriously start grinding again still grinding the usual and stuff but I just I, I just want to put a little more you know what I mean if I could rate how this week went out of 10 I think I would do six or a seven i think i got the majority of it down like you know i like i'm i'm still like i'm, I'm on schedule i'm you know i'm doing stuff like i i'd say i'm doing a lot better than average but i there's still there's definitely some headroom to like fill up i still need to put the 100 percent into the grind which like i said you know writing stuff down for the next day pros and cons um we're kind of the same as always i think uh overall i think this has been just a just a positive experience overall so i'm happy with the spot that i am and i'm happy with you know with how project 50 is going for me and it's it's great i'm a huge fan of it cons um still not being able to sleep at the time that i want i sleep a lot later than usual which sucks but I, you know with the editing and everything i just i just want to get it done just like last week just like the other week just like the other week uh wait how, how long have we been doing this this is this my third week update yeah okay I'm, I'm going into the fourth week now i think overall with this project thing going on right now i'm like i'm just overall more happy with where i'm at you know um, i'm really proud of myself that I'm actually able to do I, this is the the 21st episode like bro like this is usually around the time where I quit especially with like the with the Christmas calendar with the project PH like I, I would quit around this time but the cool thing about this is that I don't really have to be too pressured to get ideas because the idea of this whole vlog is just my lifestyle and what I'm doing each and every single day so it, it's just me being myself you know what I mean but of course I still want to do some videos where I want to put like a certain idea it's just a lot easier it's a lot it flows a lot better it's just it's it's great overall one little note that i wanted to talk about with like the vlogs itself the videos itself i feel like it's derailed really hard to like vlogging just normal vlogs like in the first week first second week whatever I, I feel like it was more centered around the project 50 idea and the funny thing is is that it's slowly like shifting towards just more of like a normal vlog type of content i'm not gonna lie i think i do like the shift but i i, I do want to kind of pull it back just a little bit with i want to have a topic but i want to make it more centralized on the project 50 idea i guess if i have a topic to talk about i want to kind of like integrate it into my days not just have like a certain section where it's just like that talk about i guess honestly i'm trying to craft some ideas in my head i kind of don't know how i want to structure my videos going forward to be honest like i said i still want to do those like certain topic type of videos where i you know i i, I talk about like something or i i show you guys something whatever but like i guess i've been pretty good with doing the whole um showing you guys the boxing training whatever like little montages here and there but i want to do better with um like my workout days like let's say tomorrow I mean, tomorrow's a workout day so i want to make sure to include a good amount of content with that you know talk about the book that i'm reading which, which i'm kind of in and out out of that i'm not gonna lie to you guys would i say that project 50s failed technically yes some rules have been kind of skewed a little bit but like like the really most basic rules haven't been like broken social media slash you know um pornography that type of content you know i'm still eating healthy i still work out i still you know do all that kind of stuff there has been a couple where it's like eh, i still journal every day because you know this whole video stuff i just need to get better at some of the other like rules and stuff i feel like if i failed project 50 completely it would mean that like i had like a day or two where i just didn't do anything 
thing. At the very least, if I fail to upload one day, that would be a fail. That would 100% be a fail. So that's why I said it was seven out of 10 last week because I feel like I could have done so much better. Right now I'm heading to GNC at the mall because like I said, they have this like deal going on. They have a 30% off of any Prime because they're celebrating Prime's birthday. I'm gonna of course get the greatest flavor of all time, Ice Pop, which actually, I want to do a video tomorrow. Tier list. A tier list of all the Prime flavors. I just kind of spoiled tomorrow's video, but either way. I know that a whole case of Prime at GNC right now, because of the 30% off, it's $20. $20.99 or something like that. I don't know, man. I was just watching Logan Paul videos. Yeah, clown me on it. Whatever. It got me excited for some Prime, so I'm going to get some Prime. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Boys, 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 we are stocked up on Prime. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> got the case of prime got a bunch of flavors that i got whenever i do the tier list tomorrow this is th th this doesn't cover all of it because there's the ones that are missing is orange and grape which is a shame because i love those flavors i'll say that i'm gonna try to be a hundred percent honest about the review tomorrow but but just know i love prime i think i already have a prediction of what's gonna be at the bottom what's gonna be at the top i'm gonna try to get the glowberry i think at the gym i think they have glowberry at the gym but if they don't then it is what it is. Yeah! Uh, I think everyone knows where this is probably gonna go. Ugh. The greatest prime flavor of all time. I'll be honest, man, it's gonna be hard to beat. I think the only flavor that can beat this one is the limited time edition for KSI. It's the mango one. Uh, as someone that's born from the Philippines, I think my favorite fruit is mango. It, it is. I don't know why I said I think it is. It is my favorite fruit. Mango is 100% my favorite fruit. And the way that KSI hypes it up and everything, if, I've, if I ever get my hands, if I ever get my hands on some prime mango, Man, I man, I'd be I'd be in the stars, bro. I'll be honest, I'm gonna have to get a new like a like a bigger mini fridge for so I can fit a lot of the prime. Because it's gotta have my candy in there, it's also gotta have the drinks in there, it's also gotta have the protein shakes in there. So it's just like it definitely I, I need some room for it. Man, I'm tired. Jesus Christ. It's funny because last year I made like a Instagram post. That, it was last year. I made a post. Uh, no, it was two years ago. I made a post for Project 50 kind of announcing it. In each photo I had like a corner where like I had Prime on there and stuff. So I don't know, man. Call me marketing genius. Now I'm playing. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, but I want to... I want to put myself in a bad mood again. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about how the modeling thing went. So about a week ago now, I applied for a modeling agency called Academy Agency. I think that's what it's called. And, um, you know, I was waiting for a reply. And then pretty much the next day, they're like, hey, you know, come to our meeting. Come to our meeting on Sunday, February 4th. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk business and stuff. So they asked me, they, they emailed me a couple of times saying, hey, are you um, are you available that day? And I said, yes, I can do that. Which the location that they wanted to do the meeting is actually the biggest like the biggest building in 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 our city actually it's in downtown it's a really big hotel really fancy hotel too and apparently that's where they hold the meeting i was like cool bet all right let's do it 11 a.m comes yesterday and i was already there i was at the lobby when i got to the hotel i even emailed them i emailed them saying like hey i am here just letting you know because all they asked for me to do is go to this hotel and I'm assuming since it's a hotel, I, I just stay in the lobby because the lady that runs the whole like uh, modeling thing, she told me that she will look for me there. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna head to the hotel and you know, I'm gonna be at the lobby. That's the most like generic area to be in, in a hotel. So I was like, okay, uh, maybe it's like an individual thing. So I, I waited a little bit. 12.30 PM is when I finally gave up. I was like, are these never gonna come? So I just left at 12.30 annoyed. Cause I was like, bro, you just wasted my time. I could have done so so much better things than just sit at a lobby for no reason looking like an idiot i got annoyed moved on with my day worked uber eats and while i was doing uber eats she emails me saying this is kind of to summarize it oh no i'm sorry i didn't see your email blah 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 we usually do the meetings at the hotel on the third floor this is the part that really gets to me i got to the hotel i did everything that they asked for no specifications when it comes to the floor so i was like i showed up at the hotel no problem this yeah. decides to say um and i quote all right and i quote let me let me whip up the receipts here i wish you would have called the agency or asked at the front desk all right so you're telling me that me that you told me to go to this random hotel and i showed up at the lobby and you said that you would look for me right and it wasn't even a typo being you know i look forward to seeing you because we already said that she says i will look for you at the hotel 
And I said, okay, I'm gonna put myself in the most public position of the hotel, the, the yeah. lobby. And I waited. So you're telling me that I needed to do something about it. I should have asked the hotel reception. I should have called the agency. No, mm -hmm. you should have done something about it, not me. Obviously, as someone that's applying for the first time, you could probably see that this is my first time applying because I am applying. This is my first time applying. I don't know anything about your agency. You decided to tell me to go to a random hotel without telling me any specifications to go up to the third floor or there's like a there was like a cafe over there. You. you no specifications, but you're telling me that it was pretty much my fault. Are you f***ing stupid? Are, are you actually out of your mind? Anyway, I'm I'm done ranting. Um, yeah, so it didn't go well. I applied for different agencies and I just moving on with it. So if the guys that I'm applying for is professional, the next video about the modeling stuff should be about me like doing the meeting. So I'm not gonna mention it until that happens or whatever happens. So yeah. <laughs> I bro, I don't I don't even know either way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Walmart again This is like the second time that we're doing this. Shit. Say something stupid up for the camera. Well, now there's a bartender for a bar, right? <laughs> Check me out. There's a bartender for a bar uh -huh. There's a barista for uh -huh. a coffee shop. Yeah, right, right. Both have bars in them uh -huh. bars <laughs> I can't lie to you guys. That training session we had today, it definitely pushed me to the limit. What we did is we had like a station thing. If you think about it, it's pretty much two stations just repeated twice, I guess. The whole idea of one of the stations is pretty much you have this like, you know, you have this, you have the, the, the guard on you and pretty much like the other person would like push and then uh, do a combo right after. You do that for like three minutes and then, you know, the other person does it too. And then the other one, one person holds a ball. That person that's holding the ball, they pretty much like either push, like move forward, or they like, they fall back, they go backwards and stuff. And then the job of the other person is to pretty much like, you know, kind of adjust their style to be able to punch while going back, to be able to punch while going forward. That was the kind of condition we did today. And honestly, man, that pushed me to the limit. I had that little hint of thinking of like, like, am I good enough for this? But then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing. It's gotta come from within, you know what I mean? I think I'm honestly getting better. I think I really am getting better. I've mentioned before that, you know, there's definitely a lot more to learn, but I guess for only a month, you know, I, I gotta give myself a little bit of credit for doing pretty decent, right? This is how I look at things, right? Um, in reality, you are your own biggest critic. No one knows you like you know you. If you go in there with an ego and you don't like criticize yourself, you're gonna flop, man. I'd have to talk about this some other time, but like one point to take away from this is that you are your own critic. I'm my own biggest critic. Like I, I'm pretty hard on myself, to be honest with you. With everything I do, I always try to like be good at it. Like be good at everything that I do. With the lifting, with the singing, with the videos, and now with boxing. I like to make sure that like I'm doing my best. And that's because I criticize myself. I'm, I'm always like, hey, you could do this better. You could do this better. You could do this better. If you have that mentality, man, and work hard, you'll be all right. I think tomorrow will be a pretty busy day because I got some stuff that I got to get done. And obviously I got, I got the prime review tomorrow. I hope you guys look out for that and you know, make sure to get excited for it. Hopefully it goes well. I have no doubts that it will. Okay. Yeah, of course, I don't know why it wouldn't go well, unless I die. By the way, that's really about it. I'm gonna do some singing and then just close out this video for you guys. <laughs> You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I called you up. Oh, I know the dress is karma, perfume regret, but you're not coming home with me tonight. You already know, already know, already know that you want. And now I'm all up on you, what you expect, but you're not coming home with me tonight. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. Let me get my little TikTok out of me. Ready, 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 ready. This goes out to you. Uh. Young blood thinks there's always tomorrow. I want you to know that if I can't be close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. Your memory is ecstasy. I'll settle for the ghost of you. I miss you more. Dance with me under the diamonds you See me like breath in the cold you Say that I will lose you but you can't predict the future I need to make sure you know If it's not you, it's
it's not anyone Forever's not enough time to love you the way that I want I fear the day that I don't You say that I will lose you but you can't predict the future Cause certain things 